What's puff everybody Jiggly here and today I'm doing a different sort of video so yes I have a webcam I'm using right now on my monitor uh I do not have the equipment to record my stuff and I do not have a gamepad so I can't save replays so this will have to work so I'm trying to push this thing in the puff meta called it's the, her shad her short hop air dot Air dodge, uh, short hop air dodge. So her sh uh, her air dodge is frame four to twenty, which means sixteen frames long. It's actual air dodge, but it's from input. It takes twenty frames, and so the thing is, it ends before she hits the ground. So she has, a, so she has a, a lagless landing. So that's really nice, but that's not it. That that's not all. You can copy. I feel like her her short hop is 28 frames. I'm gonna explain why. So when you you do the short hop air dodge, but that's not the only thing you can do. You can do short hop air dodge and a nair right before you hit the ground. Nair will come out, and as you saw, it hit him. Um, <laughs> Jigglypuff's second fastest aerial is her down air, which comes out. So it's at least seven frames long. Because her air, uh, her nair comes out frame six, her down air comes out frame seven. Um, I don't think her up air works because her up air is too slow. Her up air is like frame ten or eleven, I think I forget. But I know her forward air is frame nine, and her forward air doesn't work. You can see a little white thing coming out. No, it's the design for the forward air. Oh, and the ear dodge. Uh, sorry. You can see the design for the forward air coming out, but not the actual hurt bo the hitbox. So I'm guessing since the design comes out, it's one frame behind the move actually hitting. So I'm gonna guess the short hop is about 28 frames. That may not be exact, but it. I'm pretty sure 20, 28 is right because you can see the thing coming out. It has to be at least 27 because you can get a hit of down air, and down air is frame seven. So yeah, so that's something you can do. I would advise when you do short hop air dodging. It's really good for weaving or whatever. Um, I would advise you to never use down air because down air has horrible landing leg. Uh, look at this. Oh my god. Look at that landing leg. That's horrible. <laughs> they do that just to make sure you can't uh, do down air to rest. But, so I would always go with Nair because Nair doesn't have the worst landing leg. It's not. It's not great, but it's whatever, man. Um, but, so, that's a really good thing. To, uh, short hop air dodge is really good for approaching whatever, getting up behind them when they're trying to attack. It's just good and neutral in general because it's not the easiest thing to punish. With it, you can tomahawk with it and whatever, and you can follow up with the grab, or you could, you could come up and, oh, sorry. You can come up and you can jab combos into something or whatever. Jab and a grab, jab and a dash attack, do stuff like that. Jab, jab and a forward smash, which isn't a true combo, but if they try to air dodge after the jabs, whatever, it'll combo. But yeah, there's that. Um, and then another thing that I think makes this really good is that oftentimes when people are, when you are in front of people and they are shielding, they instinctively go for grab because it's usually one of their best options out of shield. I don't know if it's actually even like the best option, but. When someone's shielding and you're in front of them, especially if you're in shield, but if you're just in front of them when they're in shield, they're going to want to grab you. They're going to want to grab at a shield. But since you can get the short hop air dodge, you can avoid the grab. And like I said, you have at least seven frames coming out. So it's seven or eight frames that, that you have out of the air dodge before you hit the ground. So something you can do is if they try to grab you, here, let me let me actually just try to test this out real quick. Let's go in a control. This might be hard to test. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have difficulties with this. So let's see. I have it in one fourth. Hold L. But so if I um jump air dodge and he tries to grab exactly right after the grab, I can go for the rest because rest comes out frame. Two. It's invincible frame one, and then it hits frame two. If you want, uh, if you guys want stuff on frame data, you can go to Kirogain Hammer. I'll have 
the link in the description. You should go check it out. But yeah, so with the short hop air dodge, you can get a plethora of options out of it. You can. It's really good for just approaching in general. It's not. Uh, it can't really be punished. It's safer than empty hops because you get the same amount of landing lag and whatever, and you just can't be hit. Short hop air dodge is something that Jigglypuff can use really well. I can't see anyone else in the cast that does this very well because of they either have too high of a jump or whatever, or uh, because of how high they jump, their, their air dodge will last too long. And so with them, then it's just a matter of eyeballing it. And that makes it unsafe. Yeah. But that's pretty much it for this. I want you guys to try to study more on the short hop air dodges because I feel like it's going to be something that's really big for Puff because it can really help her neutral and help her options. I'd really love to see some short hop air dodge and arrest. I'm going to try to practice it more. But yeah, um, if you could find anything else about short hop air dodge that could be really helpful with Puff, make sure to tell me. Also, I'm looking for better webcam software, so if you guys know of any good webcam software, hit me up with that. I'm using the screencast thing, whatever. And the YouTube webcam app looked absolutely horrid. The frames are worse than this. And this already has, like, really bad frames. You can't even tell what it's doing half the time. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, comment, like, follow me on Twitter, all that good shit. And with that, Jiggly out.